Senegal has quickly recovered from a sometimes violent election campaign. It is very peaceful in the capital as residents listen to election results being broadcast over local radio stations. While authorities are working on compiling final results, unofficial tallies give incumbent President Abdullahi Wad an outright first round victory. But some opposition candidates are complaining. The campaign team of former Prime Minister Idrissa Sek says the indelible ink that was used on voting day was not indelible, allowing for multiple voting. Someone can uh, vote more than one, one time. You know, second up a vote multiple. At the campaign headquarters of Socialist Party candidate Usman Tanar Dieng, they also say there was too much voting going on in some wad strongholds. We found in fatigue that they've been voting until 2 o'clock in the morning, which is completely illegal. Because of a delayed start in many polling centers and long lines, authorities extended voting hours nationwide. Voters who favored Mr. Wad were not shy about expressing their opinion openly and believing their candidates would win outright in the first round, like English teacher Idris Jiang. This is obvious because he has done many things. You see, if you, if you look at the country, everything is, go, is, is being built, you see? Roads are being built, you see? Mr. Wad, who has governed the country since 2000, ending four decades of socialist rule, campaigned on promises to continue efforts to modernize Senegal. He said he needs more time to complete what he has set in motion. He also admitted unemployment was high, but promised to create more jobs for young people. Many of the voters who preferred to keep their choice secret said they hoped whoever emerges as president will fight poverty. Last year, tens of thousands tried to leave Senegal on flimsy pirogues.